Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. Oh, I'm laying down in my filming room, and uh, I am so glad it's the weekend. This week literally would not end, kept on going crazy. So right now, um, I'm just waiting. Oh, Snooky. Oh, honey. I'm just waiting for um, my mom to come pick me up because... Oh, there's been some guinea pig drama. Okay, so, oh, Snooky, please. Um, oh, this pillow hurts me. It's got like these little like button thingies on it. But anyway, um, okay, I look ratchet. I don't care. So, um, guinea pig drama. Basically, what's happening is Missouri is getting adopted tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be busy tomorrow, and so is my mom. My car is still not driving on the highway. You guys know the drill. So, um, my mom and I are dropping Missouri off today. Well, um, somebody out, well, okay, backtrack. Do you guys remember Blush? That was the last guinea pig that I had. Well, she had two boys and a girl, and she got adopted, um, Blush got adopted with her daughter, and then the two boys got adopted, and that was about mm, maybe two months ago. Well, unfortunately, um, the boys, they were returned to the rescue, so they need to be adopted again. I guess it just didn't work out. Um, so I was going to take them and foster them, but I had one look at my guinea pig room, and you guys have seen my CNC cage. I have a funny feeling that hay fell like through the grid and is on the ground right now because Snooky went underneath there because you can go under there and I just like store like extra linens and stuff for the guinea pigs. And um, I think Snooky went under there and she got like some hay and I saw like a piece of hay like sticking out of her chin and I'm like, what the hell is that? Well, I think hay fell down there. So... I have to do a major spring cleaning, but the person who's going to foster these two boys can't take them until probably next week. So I said that I would take the boys up until this other person um, can, her name is Sarah, up until Sarah can start fostering them and I will just take them until then and then I will have time after that to literally like... I want to empty out that whole room. I want to rearrange and I just want to uh, get like some spring cleaning done because, you know, it's getting kind of ratchet in there. But anyway, um, so I just, I put Missouri in um, his little carrier and then um, I cleaned the guinea pig cage real quick because I got out of work early and they are like total time crunch at the rescue right now. So I'm just waiting for my mom to come. And then after that, we're going to go to Oshkosh once again to the Yankee Candle Store because um, I think they have some stuff. And then I also wanted to hit up Lane Bryant next door to see if they had any clothes on clearance. I need like some new summer workout shirts, just like some lightweight, easy breezy summer shirts that I can wear outside working out uh, in the morning. But yeah, so that's pretty much what is going on in my neck of the woods. Other than that, um, my week has been pretty sucky. Um, sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I totally did that on camera and I am so sorry. Um, I hate that when people do that. But anyway, you guys know that I'm a little ghetto and it's okay and I sound really nasally. Hold on, I have to blow my nose. Okay, I'm back and I look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and I could give two shits. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, this week, yeah, I had an ear infection. Like my very first ear infection, I am 40 years old. I have never had an ear infection ever. So this was like a big surprise to me. Um, I had like, it almost sounded like I was underwater on this ear and I'm like, what the hell is it? And it came on very suddenly and, um, I've been battling a cold, um, since last weekend and I felt fine. I mean, I went to work on Monday and my fever broke by Monday and I was feeling great. And then all of a sudden on Wednesday, I went to work, I did my water class and, 
I got into um, our room and all of a sudden my ear completely plugged. It was like it went from completely normal to completely plugged in a matter of seconds. So I don't know what happened. So I quickly made um, an appointment with the doctor and he's like, Angela, you have an ear infection. And I was just like, holy shit, because that's my first ear infection ever. And I just think that that's weird. And it doesn't have anything to do with swimming. A lot of people were asking, you know, could it be because you were in the water? When I do my deep water exercise class, I literally am like, not, my head is never submerged. Like my hair never gets wet. Occasionally it does, but like we strap on these buoy belts and then like we float in the water. So it's very, very low impact. Um, and we have like hand weights that we do in the water too, but our head never really goes under. So I don't know what that was all about. It must have just been like viral. So yeah, now I can breathe. It's the weekend. So I have all this stuff to do with my mom today. And then um, tomorrow I'm going to start meal prepping. Sunday, I have a meeting at work that um, it's a training first response, I think, or first aid. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, um, I have that to do. So and then Monday night, I have another training to do for work. So we're trying to fit everything in that we possibly can um, before the summer hits so we don't have to do anything in the summer. But yeah, so right now I am going to just Try to find a few minutes of relaxation and hopefully I will take you guys um, shopping with me. I'm not sure about recording because you guys know Mother Patty has some issues with that. sexy bitches. So I went to Yankee and I got some good deals. There was one candle that I've never heard of before that I got and then there's three other candles that I got the votives and the melts for. Some people have been finding them at the outlet. I couldn't find them at mine. Um, you guys will see in my haul video. And then my mom picked up a bunch of stuff for this raffle that she's donating to and I don't know. God only knows with her. And then we went to Lane Bryant and um, the girls are so nice at Lane Bryant at the Oshkosh outlet. If you guys live over here by Oshkosh, Wisconsin, definitely visit your Lane Bryant because the girls who work there are awesome. Anyway, I got three workout tops because they were having a sale of 40% off. So I'll probably haul that um, because I just, I needed something new. I needed something lightweight and just something new. I have like a whole bunch of t-shirts from um, Jan Sport. They're kind of like that universal college t-shirt type thing. And I just wanted something like more upbeat where I can work out in those clothes or if I want to go shopping, I can do that as well. Um, I just wanted something to look presentable. So my mom is in the bathroom, well, going to the bathroom right now, and then we're going to go to CJ Banks, and I am hot, you guys. It is, it's like very muggy here. It feels like it's going to rain, um, but I don't know, so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on. Hey, guys, so I'm just walking out of CJ Banks, and I got four tops. My mom actually treated me for Mother's Day, so that was really nice, so... I got the three tops at Lane Bryant and then four more tops at CJ Banks and she's still in there trying stuff on. So I'm just gonna go to the car and try to relax because it is humid outside. Um, it looks like it's gonna rain. Hi everyone. So I am walking with Snooky in the park right now and the sun finally came out so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm not tracking this walk just because 
I know it's not gonna be a mile, but that's okay. I just wanted to get Snooky out without having to use uh, the stroller. So I'm just kind of letting her go. I think she has to poop soon. And this is what happens after a half a mile. Are you okay, love bud? Snooky. Oh shoot. Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. It is beautiful outside today and last night I decided that I was going to walk three miles so I went on the My Fitness app and I tried to do a route um, as close to what I thought was going to be three miles give or take a few and we can just kind of make it up as we go. I'm gonna go pick my friend up right now and um, we are going to walk this. Um, I made several routes. One was a little over three miles. One was a tiny bit under. So I'm not sure which one we'll pick and we might not even um, do the routes. We might just do our own thing. But anyway, um, I am wearing dun, 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 one of my old um, Jan Sport shirts. I did not pull out any of the new clothes that I bought yesterday because I want to do a haul on them and um, I don't want to wear them before I do the haul. I don't know why. I have to wash them and stuff too. Do you guys do that? When you get new clothes, do you wear them right away or do you wash them first? Sometimes I wear them right away and then other times I wash them. I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the store too. And you know what I mean but um no both of the stores that I went to were pretty legit like clean you know stores um and I know that like no one else tried them on before I got there but anyway so Snooky is right next to me in the van and we are ready to go she is super excited and so am I for the rest of my day I plan on she's licking my elbow um for the rest of the day, I plan on possibly going to the post office, definitely going to the bank before noon, definitely making my meal plan list, um, hopefully, hopefully, um, oh, actually I do have to go to the post office because I need stamps, and then um, hopefully making my meal plan and possibly going to the grocery store, getting everything tonight because I have that meeting tomorrow. I can't remember what time it's at, so I'm gonna have to look to see uh, because meal prepping takes a lot of time for cooking. I try to do a lot of it like at the same time, like I'll put in my sweet potatoes the same time as I'm cooking meat or I will definitely use my crock pot, which is something nice um, that I use where I just put like my meat in and then like I stick all my vegetables in there as well. So everything kind of cooks all at the same time, which is really nice. But um, also, where can I buy an inexpensive but good rice cooker. I don't cook a lot of rice now because I hate the way it turns out in my pan, like when I'm cooking at stovetop. I wanna get a really nice rice cooker that I can cook rice in, um, my brown rice or like, I don't know, what other, like I think you can cook uh, quinoa in a rice cooker as well. Leave a comment down below and let me know. But here we are at her house and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. six miles done so now I'm a sweaty sweaty hoochie mess and the dog is trying to lick me um Snooki never poops when we're on our walks and I let her out and she took a gigantic well for her body little shit all over the place and it was so disgusting but anyway I had to clean that up um so yeah, I got my three miles in and I feel great. I'm gonna go home and shower and then get ready for my day. And I need to record um, all my hauls that I got yesterday. I also need to record my Shake It Off with Angela video today. 
and I will reveal how much weight I lost and I am uh, I want to say like one pound off of my 21 pounds for my goal to lose 21 pounds by the first day of summer so that's good so now I need to come up with another goal and I don't really know what it is I want it to be a weight goal because even though you're not supposed to be obsessed with the number I kind of am but anyway, I will check in later. Hi everyone, so I just got done recording my Lane Bryant and my CJ Banks uh, clothing haul, and I got this shirt, it says Take Me to the Beach, and I absolutely love it. Um, I wanna try to like buy clothes that are not solid print anymore because I'm used to wearing solids all the time, and I usually stick to only a few colors, like I will stick to um, royal blue, hot pink, black, or white. So yeah, I like this one a lot. And now I am going to go to the bank and go to the post office and then I'm coming back home and I'm doing major, major laundry. Oh. <sighs> So, sorry about the mess in the background, but my kitchen, I have to clean it. I haven't been home all week, and it's just a disaster. So, right now, I am meal prepping, um, and I don't know. It's a little stressful because I want to, like, change it up a little bit, but at the same time, um, I don't really know. I need ideas with different recipes and, like, different ways of cooking and stuff. So, anyway... Um, this week I am going to do pork tenderloin instead of like a bunch of chicken or a bunch of turkey. So I believe, well, breakfast is the same. I'm going to do my egg bake with my English muffins. Ooh, that reminds me I have to add wheat, English muffins to my list. Um, so yeah, breakfast is going to be the same, but then, um, for lunch, I am going to be doing that carbonara spaghetti with chicken and uh, vegetables, mainly mushrooms and onions. And then for dinner, I am going to be doing a sweet potato with um, pork tenderloin and veggies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have one pork tenderloin, this one here. And I don't know if this is going to be enough for six to or five or six servings it is let's see it is 1.25 ounces or one pound 2.5 ounces do you think this is going to be enough for five servings I don't know depending on how it cooks it's going to cut it short but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one or possibly two, I might get another small one, of the pork tenderloins, and I'm going to put it in my crock pot. I'm going to put a whole bunch of vegetables in there with some chicken stock, and I'm going to let that cook down. And then what I'm going to do is divvy up the vegetables, divvy up the uh, pork, and just kind of like mix it together and then have the sweet potato on the side. So after I figure out what I'm all going to be making for the week, then I have to do my grocery list. After my grocery list, I have to do a separate list for each individual meal with the exception of the egg bake because that always stays the same. But I need to um, enter each individual meal into my MyFitness app um, just to get the calorie count for each meal. So then that way when I track, that's kind of what takes a while is entering everything in. If you do the same thing, there's no entering anything in. It's just the same calories. But if you do something a little bit different, um, you know, that's kind of what, what takes place. So I'm thinking actually about making my own kind of recipe book um, for meal prep and going about it that way because that way I can start collecting recipes and um, I'll have them right there. I'll know the calories and you know all of the information that I need. So then that way I won't have to enter it uh, each week, which I'm finding a little bit tedious but rewarding at the same time. So that's where I'm at right now. I have to go to the grocery store and I'm wondering, here's another thing too. I get so frustrated with the grocery stores here. We have, okay, we have Walmart, AKA Hallmark, 
We have Cops and Pick and Save, which are basically the same grocery store. We have Festival. Um, then we have Woodman's in Appleton. And I think I'm forgetting one in there. What other grocery store is there? Oh, and all, well, Aldi is in Appleton, but I, I rarely, go, you know, go to Aldi anymore. Only like for their fruits and vegetables if I need them. But anyway, um, do you guys find that like one grocery store has like really good romaine lettuce and the other one has, you know, really good meat section, but their pro or, but their fruits aren't that great. Like I wish there was just one grocery store that would, you know, carry everything that I didn't have to like jump around all the time. But I don't know. I feel like I'm jumping around all the time. Festival has a great meat selection. Actually, Festival is the only place that I will buy my meats and pretty much my vegetables too, but there's just a few things. Um, like, I don't know. I picked up the romaine lettuce from them this week and it doesn't taste the same as Cops romaine lettuce. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm just making my list. By the way, I have to add romaine lettuce. Um, I have to add chia seeds because I'm running extremely low on that. Um, I have to add, oh, I was going to do carrots also. Oh, see how tedious this is, you guys. But like I said, it is worth it. Um, let me add carrots. It is worth it in the end just because I feel like, yeah, I'm putting, you know, the work into planning these meals and everything for the week. But at the same time, um, I'm not having to worry about, you know, what am I going to eat during the week? Or basically what I did like when I was on Weight Watchers is I went to the frozen food section and I buy all lean cuisines and all Weight Watcher, you know, meals and I ate those literally for the entire week. I got no fresh fruits and vegetables. I just, I basically ate out of a box, which is the same thing as eating, you know, um, the classic TV dinners that are just shit for you. Um, but yeah. So anyway, it takes a little bit of work, but it is worth it in the end. So I bitch and moan now, but I won't be bitching and moaning when that scale goes down for sure. So right now I'm just making my list. Tomorrow I have that meeting at 9 o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm going to do dishes and then I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm not real sure where I'm going to go yet. Get all the stuff that I need and then um, come home here, do laundry, maybe do some food prep here at home uh, tonight. But then I think the majority of my food prep is going to be done uh, tomorrow after my meeting. And I think the meeting goes... I think it's until 12. I think it's first aid. Uh, we have to be certified in first aid and CPR and first response and customer service meetings. We have like all these meetings to do. Um, and this is the year that everything is due. So I want to get it in before like fall. So I want to like do everything before summer and fall. But yeah, so that is what I'm doing right now in case any of you guys are wondering. Hi everyone and happy Sunday. I am running super late for work right now. Um, I have that meeting from 9 to noon. So I just thought that I would check in with you guys before I leave. I don't think I'm going to be vlogging any of it obviously because it is work related. But um, I believe it is the first aid. So I think it's the first aid. Yeah, it's the first aid. Oh my gosh, you guys, my days are so mixed up. But anyway, so then after that, I'm going to be coming home and I'm going to be basically cooking all day. I already did my two mile walk um, in home though with the Leslie walk away the pounds because I was looking a little bit cloudy and I thought, okay, the stroller is in my car. I'd have to take Snooky, get the stroller out to go walking. It's going to take too much time. Let me just do my two miles inside the house and um, leave it at that. So yeah, we're supposed to get a really bad storm, possible hail, possible tornado. It's supposed to be really icky. So I am going to leave now. I'm already hot just because I worked out and I took a shower and I'm still like, I'm still heated. Hi, everybody. I am a hot mess right now. I'm sweating. It's like 
80 some degrees here and it's extremely humid um, and going to rain soon. But anyway, I got done with my meeting, came home, ate lunch. It's 1.45 now and I am meal prepping. I changed into my pajamas, just my moo's, because I was chopping vegetables and touching meat and I didn't want to get any of my clothes dirty. Um, so I just put my moo on and I just want to show you guys what I'm doing right now. So this may look familiar to all of you. This is my egg bake. And instead of putting it on English muffins, let me come over here. I am going to be using this bread instead. Let me turn on my flash real quick. Okay, so this is the Healthy Life um, Hardy Style 100% Whole Grain Farmers 12 Grain. It's a good source of fiber, low in fat. Um, I chose this one because it was on sale and um, because this one has um, three grams of sugar all the other ones had a lot more sugar in them and um, what I'm going to do instead of using the English muffins is I'm going to toast six pieces of these cut them in half um, and then I will be able to put this bake on it and then right now I'm going to be putting in my sweet potatoes in the oven for like an hour and a half I've got three pretty large sweet potatoes this is going to be for my dinner um, in one crock pot here I've got a shit ton of vegetables garlic and some low sodium chicken broth and then in here I it looks disgusting but I've got um, over here is my pork tenderloin, and then I've got three uh, pieces of chicken breast in there, and then I have, it's laying on top of vegetables. So that is going to be my total food meal prep for this week. What are you doing in there, little one? I'm thinking it's going to storm. We've got potential for tornadoes and the storm is coming in. Hi everyone, it is Monday. I forgot to close the vlog down uh, yesterday. I was just so busy doing meal prep and getting ready for today, but um, I got up so early this morning, 4.45, we did 10 laps in the pool this morning before my deep water aerobics class, did the deep water aerobics class, and then um, I worked, and then after work today, I walked um, just a little over a mile with the dog and the stroller. So today is the first day of Ironman. I'm super excited. I am eating my lunch here that I prepared, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking with me this weekend. Don't forget to watch the end of this video for all of the Snapchats. You guys are awesome sending me all the pictures, and I love seeing um, pictures from different countries like England and Italy. It's just, it's amazing. I think there were some in there too from Japan. It was crazy. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of the weekend. Happy day everyone. Bye-bye.
make time for your feelings But you have to admit, I already do Let's just break it down To you and me uptown Dancing all around Till the disco ball pops But I have to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you Stop, no, 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 hey 